And welcome back everyone. Game 2 here for the final set of Group L for the FX Open Invitational Series. And Maru Prime up against I Am Yongwa in Toon Valley will be map number 2. Let's jump straight into it as we have I Am's Yongwa up here at the top right. As our red Protoss, I almost confused it with blue for a second then. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> I've been casting too many games in a row right now. Um, <laughs> so he's opting for nothing out of the ordinary opening. Uh, at the same time down here at the bottom, Right, we have our Teal Terran. It is going to be uh, Maru Prime. He's going for that factory stream. Maru just doesn't like expanding at this point. No. Like, he, he just doesn't likes, like it. He likes his starports. Mm. He hasn't been making Banshees, though, man. He's just been mm. factory in his starport. But he hasn't really made a Banshee yet, so... He likes Hellions, I guess, right now. He used to be a really big Banshee person. He used to like, Banshee, 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 Banshee. I love Banshees so much. Mm. Have I told you how much I love Banshees? <laughs> Banshee, Banshee. Uh, now he's, he's apparently going through the same thing with Hellions today. Mm. So yeah. we'll see how this works out. Like, I know Marine King really, really, really loves every once in a while just making Hellions and then just somehow he's magical. He always gets them into the mineral line and goes frogs. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got the reactor here, and it looks like he wants to land a factory on it for some Hellions to come out. We saw how well for this uh, this worked out for him last game, but of course, it's probably not the same strategy coming in this time for Yongwa. Well. Playing really greedy last game, last game to be honest. Like yeah. he was cutting corners left and right, so he's gonna get a few more units. You can see he's getting the the barracks out onto the tech lab. Um, probably not gonna have the barracks not producing for as long as it was the last game because I think he made like two marines and it didn't make any marines for several minutes. <laughs> so that that four gate just like completely blasted him because he had absolutely nothing to defend with. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, so <sighs> we don't see a starport just yet. There's still only one gas here in the main for Maru. Remember, we got the expansion coming down here for Yongwa. Double ga uh, gateway behind it. Didn't go for the robotics uh, facility. Hmm? Said it is going to be Heli Marauder. He's got the concussive shells on the way, queuing up a couple of Marauders. Mm -hmm. And this this can work if uh, your your opponent is being a little bit greedy. Oh, the probe hit in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, oh my god. god. Um. Either way, I've seen this build do be, do really really well. Oh, the Heli has actually got it behind the force field. There's one actually up there as well. He's going to be able to take down these extra sentries. Oh my god, I cannot believe that just has happened. Uh, he's he's going to be chased down eventually, but he's going to see up here, he's going to see what's going on. He can actually uh, get quite a few of these probes if he wants to. Because there is another Hellion coming through. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think we got a probe. And then here comes two more Hellions. He's going to roast some of the lower health probes. He's getting... This is adding up, but he's trading yeah. a lot of Hellions for it is the issue. Uh, he does want to back off because, I mean, he, he was going for Hellion Marauder, and then by the time the Marauders got there, all the Hellions were dead. Yeah. Uh, after that initial attack, he might have just wanted to keep the Hellions that were streaming in, keep them back, wait for the Marauders, go for a nice follow-up attack since there's no sentries. And that could have worked out really well, but since he sacrificed all of his Hellions, he's being forced to just back off. Yeah, absolutely. We do also see the starport is uh, down now, but it does not have any add-ons, just putting out some Medivacs for the health. On those Marauders, and now remember, Marauders this early in the game, especially with the Medivac, will crush through Stalkers so quickly. Like, the Stalkers don't do enough DPS with the higher HP amount on those Marauders to do a lot. We've got another Barracks, no Command Center inside here for Maru. And if he follows this up again with another uh, Hellion uh, Marauder push, it's going to be quite dangerous. In a straight up fight, the Stalker will actually beat the Marauder without Simpack. But if there's any other units supporting the Marauders, then the Marauders come out ahead. Because mm -hmm. you barely, you very, very rarely see just like two Marauders taking on two Stalkers with no other units involved. Yeah. That's like the silliness of on paper that like never actually happens in a game. But uh, he's going to come in with yeah. this drop, and uh, he's got Stalkers in position to stop this. But he warped in right in front of the Marauders, and he got two Stalkers for free. Now the Hellions are coming into the natural. Yeah, that's a really nice move here of by Maru. He's actually going to get... He's targeting the Sentry with a lot of energy. Really smart move here. Uh, I do like it a lot, but he's losing oh, a lot of... Oh, they're lining up, but he's still losing, so... Whoa, okay. He went back to the Mineral Lines like a fraction of a second too early. Oh, the probe hiding in the bushes is found. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Stim is on the way. We got a Raven coming out now. As during that, there was a tech lab put on that starport, and 
Looking at the units to have is 29 uh, probes to 28 SCVs. And, oh, he needs to be careful not to go too far forward there with that medivac. With this Raven out, if he drops a point defense drone, he might actually just crush Yongla. Like, he's been really aggressive, and he's been doing a good amount of damage with it. He might not even need the point defense drone. Like, mm. just come forward, attack into a spot where Young Hua has to defend, otherwise he loses the game, and drop two auto turrets behind his army. Like, yeah. that could be really effective as well. Mm -hmm. um, well, he's so moving we'll out, see, and uh, Young Hua knows that. He, he even sees the SCVs. So he knows something is coming. He doesn't actually oh, the have. Entries! Oh my god, he actually wasn't paying attention. That's the second time that's happened to him this game. And now the Zealots are gone. I think this is just going to be crushed through. He does have that Immortal out, which is a saving grace here at the moment. Will do a lot of damage to these Marauders and Hellions alike. But here we go, the SCVs are coming up at the same time. We see a lot of these probes being pulled as well. And a big line against Hellions, probably not the best idea. The Immortal goes down pretty much instantly. And there's the GG. Maru will t tie up the series. And Yongwa, why don't you force field? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be right back <laughs> with our next game. Stay with us.